Next feature is pretty damn exciting. Picture in Picture has come to Chrome. Uh, and so if you are on a meeting in Google Meet, uh, you can actually pop it out uh, right into a separate window inside Chrome, which is pretty awesome. Because uh, what I usually spend my time doing is actually having uh, my, my main kind of window uh, put onto the side here. And I have on the right hand side, my Google Meet. So you'll see here I'm on my Chromebox and on the right hand side, I'll have my Google Meet. That's where I can jump into any of my uh, meetings. And on the left hand side, I'll have my notes and my task management or whatever else I'm doing. Uh, but this is actually saying that we can pop out our Meet window into a separate window. Now, I don't know how this works, so I wanna go ahead and give it a test right now. Uh, I've got my meetings here. I'm gonna do it from the browser just to actually test uh, how it says it's supposed to work. Uh, but we can open up a Meet. I'm gonna choose to stay in Chrome for this one and I should be able to join. Let's go ahead and join the Meet here. And then it's gonna look a bit weird because I've got my own camera there, but that's okay. Uh, all right, it, now it doesn't look like it's been made available for me yet. That's a bit of a bummer. All right, let's try the Google Meet app. Actually open up an actual meeting. So if you're on a Chrome box, uh, you have two options uh, when you're using Google Meet. You can use it in the browser, uh, or you also have the option, let's get rid of that video there, or you also have the option um, to actually make use of the PWA or progressive web apps. And those progressive web apps are basically a way of, instead of using like a Chrome plugin, um, they're a way of having a little bit more uh, data and a little bit more features come down to the desktop from what would normally be a web app. So they open in a new window uh, and you can see uh, I can also pin them down the bottom here on my Chromebox um, so I can launch it with just one click. So it's kind of like a very lightweight app that works on the desktop and can have some offline features as well. Now it doesn't look like the pop out button has appeared for me there either. Uh, so it sounds like it's not yet a feature that's been rolled out to me. Maybe that's because I'm in Australia um, or maybe it just hasn't come through to me just yet. Okay, so looking at the rollout pace, uh, it says extended rollout, uh, potentially longer than 15 days starting on June 16. So it's possible that because I'm in Australia or for whatever reason, um, uh, maybe my Chromebox is not fully up to date or in the right beta channel, uh, it hasn't uh, potentially hasn't yet come through to me, but that's okay. Next up, Google have created a simple uh, way to see more in Google Drive when you're searching for files, uh, and that is to actually show the file location in search. Uh, and so when you're actually running a search inside of Google Drive, uh, they're gonna show you the location of a file as you actually uh, open that file. Now, this is a very, uh, this is a very pixelated uh, file. So I've got my Google Drive here and I'm gonna show you what it, uh, what it actually looks like. Uh, and let, so let's say, for example, I search for boot camp. We're going to have lots of files about the boot camp that we recently ran. Uh, I'm going to open that up. And you can see here it's opened up the individual location, which is pretty darn cool. Uh, and so I wonder if I can right click. There we go. Wow, I can even uh, right click and go into there. Um, or if I want to go to that location, I wonder if I can hold down the control key and have it open in a new window. No, it does not appear so. Uh, but I can click on the location and actually open that location. Oh, look at that. And it's even gonna highlight the actual file um, that was there. So great feature from Google. Uh, that's gonna make it a little bit easier to find files when you're searching. Little, little uh, tip there for you to know, uh, many Google Teams don't actually use any folders at all uh, inside their Google Drive. They just search for absolutely everything inside the Google world. Uh, well, Google had told me that once and I thought that was very interesting. Final update here uh, for anyone using data loss prevention. So if you're on uh, an enterprise plan, data loss prevention helps you to make sure that no data leaks out of your business. And so if you're in the financial, if you're in the legal, uh, if you're in the um, uh, maybe the healthcare profession uh, in your business, uh, you wanna make sure that you make use of Google's tools to protect the data in your accounts. Things like somebody's Medicare number, uh, a credit card number, uh, personally identifiable information. Uh, data loss prevention helps you to make sure that no data uh, that's important to be contained inside your business accidentally goes out on an email. You can have emails quarantined, uh, accidentally gets shared with a Google Doc. You can restrict some of the sharing of Google documents. Um, and you also get administration reports as well and auditable log reports on everything uh, that's going on with the data going on in your business. Now. That feature's been around for a long time. DLP is not new, but what is new uh, is that when you are filling out a form 
using your work email address uh, to an external domain. And so if you're filling out a form to maybe a supplier or a contractor or someone else who's outside your business uh, and you're uploading any files, Google's gonna go into those files, read the data in those files uh, and actually see if any of the data that you may potentially be sharing outside your organization uh, would be in violation of your data loss prevention policies. So that is a very, very cool tool. Google are getting really, really smart with their enterprise security. Uh, and of course, if you're an organization that has more than 20 or 30 employees, that's the time to really start thinking about making sure that your data is properly protected with these kind of protection measures. Um, in Australia, at least, if you have more than $2 million worth of revenue in your business, uh, well, then you have a lot more stringent uh, Australian privacy principles laws that come into effect for you. So it means that if you leak customer information or you're hacked, uh, or one of your team members does um, you know, something silly like uploads a spreadsheet to the wrong website, um, or they set the wrong permissions on a sheet and it's available to the internet, and your customer data is exposed, you actually have to report that to the Information Ombudsman of Australia. Uh, and there's pretty he heavy and harsh penalties uh, for exposing information. So you wanna be really, really careful with that um, if you are a business owner um, or a IT technology leader. Uh, and you are concerned about that, then please reach out to our team. We'll be very happy to help with that. Speaking of, that's all we have for the news today. If you're new to our channel, please make sure you check out our other videos. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Jump onto our channel, hit subscribe if you wanna see more videos just like that. We focus on Google Workspace uh, and everything in business technology to help you succeed. And I wanna help you grow a more successful business. As I said, we help systemize, organize and scale businesses, making sure that you have the right technology in place. Now, if you're an existing Google Workspace subscriber, you wanna click on down to the link below for our transfer in offer. You get access to a bunch of free goodies, including a free account check with our team, uh, but also access to a professional video library with courses and training videos for you and your team to learn more about Google Workspace, all included for free. Um, just all you need to do is transfer your billing into us. You don't pay any extra, but you do get access to some discounts and a bunch of other uh, goodies from our team. So make sure you click on that link if you have not already become a customer of ours. Doesn't cost you anything, but you get a bunch of free goodies. And if you're interested in joining a bootcamp, look out for our next upcoming bootcamp. We just previously had one a couple of weeks ago, which was a huge success. And our bootcamps are all about helping you get the basics right for Google Workspace. So make sure you're on our newsletter list, go through to our website, download an ebook or something like that, and you'll get on our list for the next time we run a bootcamp. And make sure you click on the link down below and follow me on all the socials. Now that's all we've got time for today, but I'd love to know any comments about what you think about the news updates. Drop them down below, make sure we're connected on socials, and I look forward to catching you in the next one. Cheers.